Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to get Installer 4 on iPhone OS version 2 for iPhone and iPod Touch. So what you're going to want to do first is be jailbroken, obviously. And next you open up your settings application. Tap on Wi-Fi. And then tap on the blue little arrow thing on your network and write down your IP address because this is important for transfer okay so you've written that down now go into Cydia and go on the sections tab and scroll down to networking that box comes up, ignore it. So go on networking and then go go on open SSH and tap on install and confirm it and it'll install. Now whenever you install something on your iPhone or iPod touch you should always wait for the spinning pinwheel at the top of Cydia to go away. Now you can press your home button and you'll have another spinning wheel, pinwheel at the top of, this, of the home screen or springboard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we'll just wait for that one to go away and we can get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so this part is for Windows XP and Vista, but uh, there is another part which is for the Macs. So first what you're going to want to download is the install for zip file. This is in the description. and. Uh, just to open it up in Firefox or whatever and uh, click click here to start download and it will download so save to disk and it's done so close that and there's our install for zip file right there so just put it up there And now we'll need to get WinSCP. Do not need to install this one. This is uh, just a double click and go. So we'll get that into Firefox as well and it'll ask us to save the file. Uh, so it's done. So we can close that and we can close Firefox and we can close that too. So there's our WinSCP. Now double click on your installer for zip file to open it up with WinRAR. Nearly everybody has WinRAR so just drag and drop installer.app onto your desktop and we can get rid of that installer for zip now. All we need is the installer.app folder. So double click on WinSCP and your host name is your iPod's iP IP address. So mine is one nine two point one six eight point one point three and the username is root and the password is alpine. Uh, we don't need a private key file, um, and the file protocol is SFTP. A uh, warning will come up in a minute. And when that comes up, just press yes. Okay, so we're, we can see all the files on our iPod or iPhone now. So go to... Uh, that drop down box and go to the forward slash and then drag the installer.app folder on your desktop over to applications and drop it will ask us if we want to copy it and so just press copy okay so now what you need to do is uh, see here press control T 
and uh, when that box comes up press OK. Now this is the command you want to enter, it's in the description if you don't get it now, but uh, the command is ch mod space dash capital R space 777 space start quotes forward slash applications forward slash installer dot app end of quotes and press enter or click on execute right get rid of that last command and now you have to type in chmod space a plus srx space start quotes forward slash applications forward slash installer dot app forward slash installer end quotes press enter or click execute okay so that's all we need to do on our computer for now and now I'll show you what you have to do on your iPod or iPhone okay so just reboot it as you would normally by pressing and holding the sleep wake button until it slides down so slide the power off and wait five seconds and turn it back on so when it powers up if that comes up just dismiss it and you might not see it on the first page but if you scroll over you can see it right there okay so just tap on that and it's a lot different from the other installer the old one it's a beta though so some things aren't there yet but they will be okay so that was my video on how to get installed for on your iphone or ipod touch i hope you liked it please rate the video comment in the video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching